Hello everyone, welcome back to Power Distribution channel. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to extend my explanation on how installation text works. In this case, I'm going to do uh, installation test on single phase distribution transformer. The basic is pretty much the same, but in this case, it's much much easier using the same equipment, which is high voltage insulation tester from Kuritsu. Again, before we use this uh, device to measure, uh, make sure that we have the enough juice on the battery by check the battery. Yeah, it has a sufficient uh, battery hold, so it's ready to go. And this one for the life probes, the guard, and the return on the earth probe. Before we do any measurement, it is very important to consult with the wiring diagram or manuals of the device we are going to measure. As you can see, the primary winding H1 connected to the lifeline and the H0 connected directly to the ground. The secondary uh, windings have two uh, windings which float, doesn't connect it to the ground directly. Here I draw the schematic for a clearer view. As you can see for our purpose which is uh, insulation test, we can view that in this transformer there are three coils uh, we are going to measure. Since uh, in the secondary windings there are two coils which is independent, we will measure both of these uh, windings separately. In this test we are using uh, four bushing secondary windings but there are some uh, other configuration for example three bushing on the secondary windings in this case the x2 and the x3 on the windings are directly connected together the first step we measure the insulation resistance on the primary bushing but since in our transformer the H0 on the primary bushing are directly connected to the ground there is no need to measure the insulation resistance between the primary and the ground or the body instead we measure the primary windings against the secondary windings resistance as you can see from this uh, diagram and drawing then we measure the resistance between the primary bushing with the second uh, winding on the secondary uh, bushing terminal in our center voltage we use 20 kV line to line so the phase to ground voltage is around 11.7 kV so the minimum insulation resistance should be around uh, 5 giga ohms for this uh, primary windings uh, resistance next since both of the secondary winding doesn't connect it together so we have to measure the resistance between uh, two windings and last but not least we measure the resistance between both of secondary windings against the ground by shorting the x2 and x3 terminal and then measure it uh, against the ground since the line to line voltage between secondary terminal is around 200 volts so minimum insulation resistance value we need to see is around 25 mega ohms from the diagram we know that x1 goes into x2 and x3 goes into x4 now the first secondary windings against the primary by placing the earth probe on the secondary and put the tester on the 5000 volt and press test live probe on primary pushing measure it for around minute and we got zero zero reading mean short circuit happening inside the transformer next we measure the adjacent winding on the secondary uh, terminal press test and we put the live uh, probe on the primary as you can see there are some reading which means the secondary winding is pretty much a good or intact in addition we measure the resistor of the resistors as you can see it shows some reading a green light which means the resistor is intact 
So in summary, this transformer has some a breakdown source circuit on the first secondary windings. And just for the sake of comparison, we will measure the resistance of this a brand new three secondary bushing transformer against its uh, primary bushing. As you see, it show a fair reading. Uh, it's a brand new truck. Put it for around one minute. As you can see, it passes around 160 gig ohm, which is very very good. There you have it, guys. The insulation resistance test on a single phase distribution transformer. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and give us on the video for content in the future. Thank you much and see you again uh, next.